he have brought to the forefront. Others have tokenly talked about it. They get in office and they do nothing about it. But right now, it is this liberty movement, which is seen as a patriotic movement, an individual liberty movement, that is saying to the country and to the world, we've had enough of sending our kids and our money around the world to be the policemen of the world. It's the time to bring them home. We can depend on the Federal Reserve just to print the money. Next book came out this week, and the Fed, and we're having a lot of excitement surrounding this. And I've had a lot of uh, interviews on this. Today, somebody asked me, what should I do uh, in, in this country to improve our economy? My answer was very simple, and the Fed. The Fed is the culprit, and I talk about that in the, this book and explain why the Fed not only creates our problems, they perpetuate the problems, and the sooner we come around to understanding that, and uh, at first, of course, get the audit of the Fed, but eventually, we have to end the Fed if we care about sound money, personal liberties, limited government. This is the book that you have to read. And we will remain a danger to the Federal Reserve System as well. And the Fed, right, and the Fed. Yeah. You know, but overall, you have to ask once again, as our founders did, what should the role of government be in a free society? The role should be very simple the protection of liberty. You know, the Constitution uh, was written for a very precise manner. It was not designed to restrain the individual, not to restrain you. It was to protect your liberties and to restrain the federal government. But liberty, liberty has to be re-emphasized because we have been careless over the last hundred years. We have taken liberty and chopped it up into pieces. Some people think liberty has to do with personal habits, which I agree. Other people think liberty is how to spend your money. And they defend that part and then they fight about when to do what. I think what we need to do is make this emphasis that liberty means you have a right to your life and your privacy and the way you want to live your life as long as you don't hurt people and you have a right to keep and spend your money as you want to. But fr freedom, freedom is a wonderful idea, and that's why I get so excited, but I really get excited when I see young people saying, it is a wonderful idea. Freedom is popular, don't you know that? <laughs> Freedom brings people together. I think it's magnificent that the crowds that have come out over the weeks and months have been very diverse because it should be, because some people want their freedom to practice their religious in so one way, maybe another way. Some might not even want to practice it at all. But freedom, if you understand it, you should all fight for freedom because you want to exert your freedom the way you want. Same way with economic freedom. It should bring people together. And I think this is one reason people worry about how are you ever going to put the coalition or how are you going to, oh, no, they don't want a coalition. They said, how are you going to compromise and give up some of your beliefs in order to get some things passed? You don't have to compromise. What you have to do is emphasize the coalitions that people want their freedoms for a different reason and bring them together. Yeah. It's been, 